Hey, this is Sit, Paint, and Play Drive Along. Um, <clears throat> you guys haven't seen me in quite a while doing this. Um, I honestly just haven't had a whole heck of a lot to talk about as of late. I have five or six extra video ideas that I just really need to sit down and force myself to go through and compile them. I have two battle reports for you guys. And... Um, I also had some game ideas that I was wanting to test out and play, you know, just by myself just to see if everything works, and I figured I'd record them while I was at it. And then I also have some things where I do, like, some army showcasing and some other things as I go along that I want to show you guys. I just haven't gotten around to it because I don't have any internet. So, <clears throat> currently working on it. I promise I'm making leaps and bounds at home. You guys just aren't seeing it currently. So, anyways... Uh, on to the moral of the story, um, or basically what the story is about. Um, so today I was posting on Facebook. Um, lately, I've pretty much gotten almost into every single Warhammer, uh, just you know, fan page or whatever you want to call it. And I pretty much just sit there and go through and read and learn and. Um, you know, I see some cool conversions, or some people have some really good artwork, you know, which is really neat, but, uh, there was a guy who was talking about <clears throat> how it was overwhelming to have, you know, 40 models, and, you know, he felt like he would just, he couldn't really, like, force himself to get into it. So I had some things to say about that, so I'm going to talk to you guys about it. Um, and then I also have another point for this video as well. I'll continue that in a second. Um, but one, uh, break your stuff into smaller portions. Not like break the models, but like if you have a squad, if like this dude, if he has 40 dudes, take it and split it down to five. Put five on your table. If that's still too overwhelming, put a single model on the table. <laughs> because that's what I did with my orc boys. I literally sat down every day with one orc boy and painted the whole thing and I was done and then literally within a month and a half you know give or take a few days I was done with 40 orc boys you know I wasn't all worried I wasn't worried about getting him done in a super quick and you know whatever fashion I just you know I just wanted to get them done. And basically, I was like telling the guy, I was like, look, I mean, honestly, the whole point of this process is just to get the project done. It has nothing to do with, you know, how quickly or whatever. And I think if you have a single model on the table and you spend one day painting it, you can paint the whole thing, be done with it, but then you can also go back and focus on the details and the little things if you want to. And only spend like an hour a day. You know, it only it, it only took me like 15 minutes to knock out each work for you. And I easily could have done two or three in a day. I just, I just made it one a day, so it wasn't such a daunting task. So that's one way you can kind of chill that anxiety that uh, kind of comes with that. Uh, but anyway, so this guy was posting all that on there. And I got on there and told them what I just told you guys. And, uh... <clears throat> hold on, here we're driving in traffic and I got people being a bunch of jerks. Not knowing how to drive. So, anyways, um... That's why these people were commenting. Giving him solid advice. I mean, you know, break your stuff into smaller groups. You know, um, do batch painting, like, you know, one color all the time. Um, another thing that I said to him was, like, you know, pull out one squad or whatever and then pack the rest away, and that way it's just kind of hidden out of sight, out of mind, you know. And then um, also another thing I said was you could paint um, one part of the model in succession over and over and over and over. And eventually you'll realize, like, what mistake you made on the last model and one of you painted it if you're bash painting and you can kind of get better at it as you go along. Like, if you paint a bolt gun <clears throat> 40, 50 times, you're going to realize by about the 15th or 20th model that you're laying stuff on too heavy, you know, and you need to 
you go, you know, fit in your paints. And maybe you didn't like that you made this part black or whatever, so you're going to paint over it silver instead. Or, you know, it's all trial and error, obviously. <clears throat> but there's this one dude that came along and was like, well, you know, wham, 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 you know, yeah, I only have 40 models. I have 90 troopers, 15 tanks, and this to paint. And first off, to that guy, you know, and I'm not trying to make this a negative thing about this dude. I'm trying to say, like, be nice to other war gamers. Because, I mean, it's important. I mean, we're a community. And we're a very small community at that. So if you're getting on there bashing people, you know, he was pretty much saying, he's like, blah, 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 I got all this stuff. And you're a big baby because, <clears throat> you know, you only have 40 models of paint. But let me turn it back up. Um, you know, which don't get me wrong, 40 models really is not much. It should only take you about, some people it takes them a week, some people it can take a day, and some people it can take six months. So, <clears throat> you know, it all kind of depends on, you know, what your ability is, what kind of time you have, what money constraints you have, or whatever. But anyways, I felt bad for this guy, so I got on the other dude's butt, and he was all offended. He was like, I can't believe you just got mad at me, because, you know, I'm calling this dude a baby. And I'm like, yeah, I realize, but, you know, not everybody moves at the same speed. So anyways, moving on. Um, I don't know, I think it's just important, as board gamers, that we kind of stick together, and you're not over there bashing each other. Unless, like, somebody is being a complete jerk or whatever, or somebody else... You really shouldn't be jumping on anybody because our community is already small enough as it is. Like in my local shop or in my Kansas City area, the immediate players that I know within where I'm at, there's about 12 players, tops. So that's 12 people in the whole city of Kansas City that I know personally. I'm sure there are way more that actually war game 40k. You know, so it's, so if I end up pissing off three or four of those guys at one time or something like that, then, uh, you know, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to lose my play, the amount of people that I can play with. And like, I know, like so there have been guys in the same group or whatever that have, been either rule Nazis or cheaters or something like that along those lines and you know the other guys aren't a huge fan of them they really have kind of pushed them off to the side and said hey we really don't want you to come to the store and play with us or they won't even pick up a game with them you know which so it's just kind of how it is sometimes but anyways all in all I just really kind of wanted to get on here and say make sure you're being nice to other war gamers Especially in forums and posts, because at the end of the day, if that guy reads that other guy's comment, you know, you know, stop being a baby or whatever, it might not. Sure, it's stop being a baby. It's not like he's going on some tangent rant about whatever and cussing the guy out or anything. But at the same time, you never know. I mean, that might hurt that dude's feelings, and it might drive him away from 40k. That's one less player that we have to work with. So. You never know, <clears throat> and I'm not saying like baby everybody. You know, you gotta be, you gotta have a little bit of tough love from time to time. And sure, that's what that guy was probably doing. But you know, not everybody's the same. So just be mindful and open-minded about everybody, and make sure that you're making it a fun experience for everybody else. And like, if you are gonna post stuff like that on a forum, and you are joking be obvious about it because you can't display your emotions people can't see your facial cues and things like that so not everybody's going to catch on if you're just doing a quick haha -ha, you know it's never not everybody reads everything the same so anyways this was pretty much like a pointless rant but i mean like i was saying just take care of your war gaming community and they'll take care of you anyways guys i am off to me trabajo that's a job for you non-spanish speaking folks um 
and I'm out of here. See you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Have a good week. Happy Wargaming.